Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Retrax Pro XR on the 2022 Ford Maverick. For this installation, I'll be using the Allen wrench included in the kit, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a 916 ratcheting wrench. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, now first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure we remove this tube from the spiral and also this bracket. So we're just gonna pull the tube straight out And the bracket just comes off with a Phillips head screwdriver. Now once you pull that bracket out, do the same thing on the opposite side, but save one of these brackets for later because we're going to need to use this as a spacer. All right, now what we're going to do is attach the rails to the canister. Uh, so this is our driver's side rail. Uh, one thing I want to point out, you got a hole up here that's going to face towards the cab of the truck right up at the canister. Um, on the inside, you're going to have a slot. This is a channel that the cover actually slides into. Um, now before we can slide that together, we first need to unlatch the cover. Uh, they generally are shipped with the cover locked. So you unlock the latch, press the button, it pops up. That has to be unlatched in order for the, uh, the rail to slide in, otherwise it won't slide in at all. So go ahead and pull the packing stuff off. And now we can go ahead and slide on the rail. All right, so next what we wanna do is line up this hole back behind up to this hole and line up this hole in the rail to this one. Once we do that, we can go ahead and get our machine screws out of our kit. Uh, these are in a bag that's found with your clamps. We'll line up the machine screws to the holes and put them in with a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat the same process for the passenger side rail. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and install the canister cover. Now, I wanna show you how it's oriented. You're gonna have a rubber flap seal that's gonna to point towards the cab of the truck, kind of away from the canister. And it's just gonna fit right underneath the rails up at the front. Now, one quick tech tip. <clears throat> We've got a couple of threaded holes, one on each side. This has been powder coated. Sometimes there's a little bit of powder left inside those holes. So what I would do is take one of these screws and run it through those holes, make sure all the powder is cleared out before you slide it in place. It's a lot easier to do it before it's in place than doing it in the rails. So now what we're gonna do is just take the cover, slide it, and those holes are gonna line up to these holes up top. Or we're gonna go ahead and take our Allen head screw, get that lined up to the hole. Use our included Allen wrench. Once you snug that up, go ahead and repeat the same on the opposite side, and then you want to go ahead and latch the cover in place to keep it from sliding out into the rail while you're installing the cover. All right, now get the help from a friend, lift it up into the bed of the truck, put it all the way up against the bulkhead, and make sure that rubber seal is facing towards the cab of the truck. Okay, now with the tailgate closed, we're going to set the alignment of the rails. We're going to take that shipping bracket we took off in the very beginning. Right here is exactly one eighth of an inch. What we're going to do is hold that up to the tailgate and then slide the rail back to that and do that on the opposite side as well. Okay, this is our clamp location in between these two threaded white posts. That is actually for adjusting the cover side to side uh, in, in case something doesn't fit properly. Uh, next, here is your clamp. Now this clamp comes for a number of applications. On the Maverick, we wanna have this portion right here at the lowest setting where it is now and you can tighten that up uh, with a Phillips head screwdriver. Now if you've got your utility rail inside the Maverick you want to make sure that your sliding tie down cleat is between where your clamp locations are uh, because it's not going to be able to slide past where the clamp is. So once that's in position we can go ahead and move forward with clamping it together. Next you'll also want to take a look at the configuration of the clamp. Now this one right here um, we've got uh, the nut actually on the opposite side of where it comes from the factory because we've got this. Now from the factory it's going to come like that so you just want to take that apart, pull this nut off, put it on this side uh, and then put it back together to where 
your clamp assembly looks like that. And that just gives you more room between this rubber bumper and your track. Next, we're going to pull that apart, slide it up into place. Make sure the clamp is fully engaged into the rail. Hold that together and we're going to tighten it up hand tight first. Then we're going to take a 9 16 wrench or ratchet. And as we kind of hold the, the rail down to keep it level, we're going to tighten that up with a 9 16 Just get it nice and snug. Next, what we're going to do, make sure that you don't have this bolt or this nut all the way up against the clamp. And then we're going to twist the bolt to where the rubber bumper pushes against uh, the, the rail here. This is just going to keep this level in case you have a load on there that wants to draw this rail down. So that pushing up against uh, the, the rail. Now we're going to take our nut and lock that in position. That's also a 9 16 and so we just snug that down. Now it's locked in position. We're going to do the same thing on the next clamp up. Now repeat the same process on the opposite side. All right, now before we install the drain tubes, we're going to go ahead and peel off the protective film from the canister cover. All right, now underneath the cover on each side, you're going to see that there's a hole in the bottom of the canister. Um, that's where the drain tube is going to plug into. I also want to point out on the Maverick, right at the bottom corner down here, there's a small weep hole. It's actually kind of a large weep hole versus all the rest of them. Uh, now you can either set up your drain tube to run right out that location, just like that, um, or you can widen that hole with a step bit and run the drain tube too. I've already gone ahead and cut the drain tube to fit in that location, so I'm just going to snap it in place. Repeat the same on the opposite side. Well, that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.